hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new make sure to hit the subscribe button my name is Mackenzie and I do tons of different college videos vlogs hauls lots of Shein hauls because you guys seem to love them swimsuit reviews all that jazz I hope you guys will stick around today I am doing part four to my testing 30 bikinis from Shein series you guys seem to really be loving these and as crazy as it sounds to be doing a part four you guys really requested one so I am back today upon very popular request I have half one pieces today and half full coverage bikinis. So first things first, I do want to cover a couple of things. When I say that I am trying full coverage swimsuits, it means that I am going off of Shein's definition of full coverage. So just because it may not be your definition or my definition of full coverage, these are bathing suits that they market as full coverage. You will see that some of them are like this big still. You will see some of them ended up fitting perfectly. They were very family friendly. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. As always, I will have links to everything in the description bar below as well as a blog post that has pictures of all the suits my coupon code and it will have sizing information where I list out my waist hip bust all that jazz also if you have done the math by now I'm sure you have calculated that I have well over 150 swimsuits yes that is a lot and you guys seem to love to leave nasty comments about it um, which I will delete because I'm sensitive and they hurt my feelings but please remember on a serious note that this is my job to wear style and review clothes and you guys asked to see part three part four part part five. So I'm trying to pertain to you guys, share a wide variety of styles, and really be of service to you guys. I promise they are going to good use. If they do not fit, I will put them up on my closet account, Styled by's Closet too, so you guys can shop them as well. Um, so yeah, please keep the comments nice. I know the back of me is paler than the front of me, as is everyone, and I hate laying on my stomach. All right, guys, let's hop in. So we're going to start off with the bikinis, because I feel like more people are interested in seeing the bikinis. I will put a timestamp below, though, if you want to speed ahead to the one pieces if that's what you're interested in the first suit i grabbed looks like this i grabbed a lot of patriotic stuff throughout this i don't know what i was on when i was like checking these out i must have been in a big fourth of july mood but i tried to grab some high-waisted styles that weren't super high cut a lot of you guys asked for this you want something a little um more coverage a little more coverage in the front so i tried to do that however i did still grab some high rise some high cut because that's what i like so this is just a rib suit i tend to really like shein's rib suits this is more of like a single lined it's not double lined however it was still pretty good quality the bottoms i would say did a pretty good job on full coverage this is about as full coverage as she and bottoms get and then for the top it just looks like this this is probably my favorite style um, bikini top to wear I am going to be doing a video of like my top 15 swimsuits of my whole collection I wanted to do it after this video went out so it is coming up I will be doing like a full in-depth sit down so just hang on it's coming but this is one of my favorite bikini styles to wear if I tan I typically wear something that's like this this is just your standard scoop neck the straps are really thin they are adjustable and there's no clasps along the back and no self ties none of that jazz I don't really like that as much just because I don't know I don't I feel more secure I feel a little bit safer in my suit when it's just like a solid tube of fabric so I like this it is a little bit longer this is more of like that tank kini kind of style based on where it hits Next up, I grabbed this yellow and white tie-dye one. I have such a thing for yellow and white, especially tie-dye, you guys will notice. So the bottoms to this one look like this. It is a raw cut on the top, but the bottom is not raw cut. You'll hear me talk about this in pretty much every Shein haul ever. Um, this swimsuit, if my camera will, there you go. You will see that there is this seam right here. This basically means that this bikini bottom is going to fit like hipster underwear as opposed to a bottom that has this kind of fit where there's no seam right there. That's going to fit more like your seamless underwear like think of Victoria's Secret like seamless underwear versus boy short underwear hipsters that you would wear to bed so these have a raw cut along the top but that hipster style along the bottom which I really like they weren't completely full coverage but I would say these are more on the full coverage side still a very family friendly suit in my opinion the bottoms came up a little bit higher they definitely weren't super skimpy along the front and then the top was so cute this reminded me of like a 2000s kind of style bikini I don't know why it reminds me of like something they would wear in the Disney movies it is just like a little halter style and it's got 
triangle cups. You can cinch these in a little bit to give yourself more cleavage if you want. The back just has a self tie and then the top has like a thicker self tie. My hack for self tying is to always make sure that you tie your swimsuit in a knot and then in a bow. That way if your bow comes undone you still have like a plan B you know and you're you're not completely topless in the water. All right this one did not pass the vibe check for full coverage at all. Also when I mentioned full coverage I meant on the bottoms not on the top. I like a little like something something up top sorry guys um but um so okay these ones did not they were not full coverage I still think it's a really cute suit but definitely one that you have to be comfortable with showing a little cheek if you know what I mean um it is a very tiny little triangle style suit I was surprised how many of you wanted to see more triangle styles this is just a bright yellow and they self tie along these sides really really tiny in the back like I said and the cups holy cow do you guys see how big that is or how small that is like it's like two inches big so it like just covers your nipple but I will admit like it is like really cute like it's like a sexy like let me take a cute bikini pic kind of suit but um, definitely not one I would ever swim in or dare wear around my family. Hands down one of my favorite bikini tops I have ever tried from Shein. I have no other swimsuit like this of all the swimsuits I have and that's saying a lot. Um, I grabbed this like lime green. It's not neon green, it's like lime green if that makes sense. However, it does really make that tan pop. My camera's wanting to wash it out because it's so bright. This is the most comfortable swimsuit top I have ever tried. I love the width of these straps they are the perfect thickness and this is so incredibly flattering it's got the support of like a sports bra style fit however it like still is flattering it still makes your chest look good and then the back has a really cute lace-up detail if I do have something that self ties I like something that laces up a few times that way if the knot did come undone it's not like it's gonna fall off just yet um, so I really really liked this bottoms look like this they did have a little bit of cheek along the bottom they weren't anything crazy bad by any means you could still probably get away with this around parents but I wouldn't consider this one full coverage I don't know if I mentioned it but I am wearing the smallest size available in every suit so if an extra small is offered I'm wearing the extra small, but if the smallest size starts at a small, then I'm wearing the small. I'm a 34B up top, 25 inch waist, and for one pieces, I try to stick to 27 inches in length. Occasionally, I'll go half an inch to an inch bigger or smaller, depending on if I really like the suit, just to give it a try, but I want to put that out there. Like I said, I'll leave sizing below as well. I had to grab this ribbed green suit. If you saw part three to my bikini series, you would have seen that my favorite swimsuit from that haul was a green ribbed bikini so when I saw that they came out with like this new version of it that has this belt I was like oh my god give it to me I will say this one isn't as high quality as the other one this one is not double lined along the butt it's only double lined along the front so it loses points for me there however it's still super cute more of that full coverage fit but this one is high cut it is exposing that like lower level I don't know how what to call it but like you know what it is like where your your underwear line is your hips I guess I I don't know um, I love bikini belts they really cinch the waist and they make your waist look super super tiny so very flattering the top however on this though was really weird like the top I was not a huge fan of I like the regular like bandeau style straight across by the way all of these have removable pads unless I say otherwise however they like sewed the straps so far in like I they're way too close for me they needed to be like an inch and a half further out to the sides so still super cute but my top was like I don't know this was without a doubt my favorite suit from this haul this is so good when I, my sister was helping me unpackage the swimsuits she was like I have to have that like can you please give that to me and I was like no I want that one and she was like please Mackenzie so this one is so good the most flattering suit probably from this haul I absolutely love this it is the most gorgeous teal color so incredibly flattering and it really does bring out that tan I would say this one is not completely full coverage it's not terrible by any means but for all you people who like to say that's not full coverage you're probably going to you know disagree with this one so what I like about this one and it is that ribbed material it's super soft but this band along the top is like a silky satinish material and it's really really thick and it just God, it sucks you in. It's really flattering. And then the top is, again, my favorite style top. That's just that little scoop neck, adjustable straps, no clasps, 
so comfortable and oh my god I just I loved the way this looked on me I thought it was so flattering a little boob scoop and you're good to go okay so next up I grabbed this and I am a fan of the underwire style swimsuits I like them they're great for tanning however they literally cover this much of my boob and so then if I like move my like whole boob falls out so I wanted to find a style that was like that but a little more forgiving had a little more coverage obviously so I could actually wear it um, for in the water stuff like that because I do want to be able to play in the water and not worry about my top like flashing people so I would say this one is a very good option if you are looking for that underwire style that comes up a little bit in the middle this one was really good um, the coverage on the pads was like almost double what the other ones I have of this are. It's like a blue and white, like waterish material, like not material pattern. I don't know. It's different. Cool. The straps were the perfect thickness on this. I like when my straps are a little bit thicker just because I think they give you a little bit more support, especially if you do have a larger chest. And then the back has one of these clasps. I'll admit the silver clasps are not my favorite. They're a little bit cheaper, but you know, they get the job done. So that was the top. And then for the bottoms, I would say these bottoms were right on the money. They were pretty good um, all around. They fit me like a glove. They're a little bit thicker along the sides. Definitely cover up a little more of your crotch. I find that the problem with some high rise ones is they're cutting really low, like in the center and like I don't know that's kind of scary for some people so I really like these ones they are that raw cut material though so make sure you check the size charts for this one all right this color was absolutely stunning I love 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 the color of this however the bottoms were just a little too big on me I could probably wear this on a day where I was feeling way more bloated I was having like one of those like god I feel skinny days when I was doing the try on for this so um if it wasn't one of those days I could wear this this kind of looks like a diaper when I hold it on these up these look super big but they're a little just they're not big in the butt at all like they cover a lot of your butt they're great for that however they still are that high cut that elongates the legs really slims your waist down like nothing however um the top of this was just a little big on me like it was just a little too loose right there I wish it was like half inch smaller however the top was so good I love underwire style tops however very few of them actually have support and make me feel secure where Wearing the top like make me feel like I'm not it's not my boobs aren't going anywhere and I really liked this one I felt that the cups were a really great size they're a little bit taller than the typical underwire style so they weren't too tiny by any means again they had those thicker adjustable straps and this one does tie along the back okay so. I went ahead and grabbed another one of those underwire style tops and this one kind of looks similar to the other one I showed you however this one's like a tie-dye cloudish kind of look instead of the water one this one is more like that underwire style i was talking about because the wire in this one is a little bit thicker um and it really like goes up whereas the other one was more subtle again this one does cover so much more the cups i mean it still is like a boobalicious kind of top but it's not um as revealing as the other one it's not so nip slippy i guess and then the straps look like this thin adjustable straps that silver clasp along the back this is one of my favorite styles to tan in I will admit um, if I do lay out a lot of you guys ask what my favorite styles are for like certain things if I am just laying out and not necessarily going in the water like I'm just hanging in my backyard we don't have a pool or anything um, I would wear something like this and the bottoms for this one I liked they were a little bit more on the cheeky side than the last couple of pairs you can kind of tell just by me holding them up you can bring these ones a little bit higher up on your waist for more of that high-rise fit and these ones are not raw cut which is why I liked these they fit me really really well actually um, just because they are more of that hipster style moving on I grabbed this one and I really liked this swimsuit this does not look like something that would come from Shein I think this reminds me of like a Maji kind of top like one of those expensive stores that you walk into at the beach where you're like god this is so cute but I can never afford it that's what this like swimsuit reminds me of for some reason it's got like billabong vibes to it at least in my opinion it is a gorgeous light pink with blue and like purplish kind of tropical print to it 
this does have a little bit of underwire to it. Underwire is great if you do have a larger chest just because it does give you a little bit more support than the other styles. This has a clasp along the back and adjustable straps. I like the little ruffle on this. If you are someone who doesn't love your shoulders, your upper arm area, um, ruffles tend to hide that and cover it up a little bit. This is what the bottoms look like. They're kind of confusing when you hold them up because they've got all these like extra layers of fabric that hang down. They're like little ruffles. They're super, super cute. I would say the bottoms are like a true full coverage. However, this swimsuit ran a little bit small. Honestly, it's very, very rare that I would recommend sizing up because sizing up doesn't change how much your swimsuit's going to cover. It just changes like the actual width and circumference of your stuff. I would recommend sizing up to this one if you grab it. I definitely could have done a medium for a little bit flattering of a fit, I guess, on the bottoms because they were a little tiny. This was the only swimsuit that came without padding. Um, it's very rare. I don't think I have any other Shein swimsuits that don't have padding, so keep that in mind if you grab this one. I love the light pink to this. I actually think I'm going to wear these bottoms with that tropical top I just showed you. I liked the way they looked together, and since I didn't really have problems with the top, but the bottoms were a little tiny, um, I figured that these would go really well together. So the bottoms on this are a full coverage. This is like a great beginner swimsuit if you're just transitioning into bikinis, into two pieces. This one's great because like I said, there's no pads to it. It's nothing crazy, but the color is very flattering. This will totally bring out your tan. Next up, I wanted to grab something with butterflies. A lot of you have been asking for me to test out a butterfly suit, so I grabbed this one. This is the best style swimsuit hands down to buy if you have a large chest. If you need the extra support, you want extra coverage, grab something that has this underwire style style. This is literally like wearing a bra. It's got the same kind of cups. There's no push-up or anything to these. Um, it will just really hold your boobs in and Th like this I cannot stress enough like this is the best kind of top if you do need that extra support I um, mean you do have bigger boobs so if you don't have bigger boobs it's fine um, but you might not fill it out completely this has adjustable straps these ones they do detach and you can cross them in the back which again is great if you need a little extra support and then the bottoms look like this these are again something that look like a diaper I feel like when I hold them up but they're really cute on this is again something that is a little bit higher cut on the sides however it was still full coverage in the back like you guys want to see so I don't know I really like this one a little something something and it's totally it's different you know the butterflies are different okay I gotta admit this one this one's not passing the full coverage check for you guys but still very flattering still one I will definitely be rocking this summer if you know what I mean this is what it looks like I just envisioned me in this swimsuit with my big black floppy hat reading a book with my black cat eye sunglasses and being like this this is the life I dreamed of. Um, so if you see that picture on Instagram, you heard it here first. This is what the swimsuit looks like. I love the bottoms, super cute. They are raw cut along the bottom, but they do have a really thick elastic waist that's gonna cinch you, um, cinch you, cinch your waist. I know not everyone is a huge fan of high-waisted swimsuits when they just see them, but when you try one on, you'd be pleasantly surprised. I used to hate them and then I started to give them a shot. They really are extremely flattering and they will make you look so tiny in your stomach area so if you do if you're like not super confident with that area I would recommend trying a high-waisted suit you would be pleasantly surprised and there are so many cute ones this is what the top looks like the top was a little big around I don't know why it was just a regular small but it's black on one side leopard on the other adjustable or not adjustable removable pads super cute just little bandeau style I absolutely love this swimsuit for many reasons okay so first let's start off with the bottoms the bottoms are just a solid black bottom full color coverage just your typical ribbed bottom nothing crazy the top is nothing crazy either just like my typical favorite style swimsuit thin strap adjustable strap no class you know the drill I've said it a hundred times by now it's cow print I love cow print if you don't know um, my western little cowgirl in me is coming out lately so I really like this again do a little boob scoop and you'll be fine um, if you think that kind of top like looks bland trust me it can be made really cute okay but this one came with a sarong and sarongs are my shit i love sarongs so much they just are so cute for pictures they're great like little cover up when you're walking to the beach hanging out like if you're eating while you are at the beach like i know i walk home to like go grab lunch when i'm at the beach that this is like something i would just throw on you know so my i'm not all on display so i like this sarong but it came with a scrunch 
guys, look at Last but not least for bikinis. I haven't even started with the one pieces yet. I have this leopard one. This is adorable, just looks like this. Really cute top. This does not have adjustable straps. I will mention that. This is a great beginner bikini. If you're just transitioning to bikinis, I really recommend this one. I think that it's super cute. However, this one ran small on me. This is another one that I would recommend going up a size. I wish I had grabbed a medium because the bottoms were just almost too small on me and I was like god is my butt getting bigger I don't know and there is a little sarong again which of course just makes everything better but do size up with that one all right time to hop in with the one pieces I have quite a few because a lot of you guys asked for these especially some of my older followers were like please like I'm a little bit older and I really love wearing one pieces so I got you girl I got you too I hear you so the first I tried to grab ones that were really different like I don't want no plain Jane one piece I want something that's cool still trendy hip makes you look young all that jazz so I tried to grab a wide variety the first one I grabbed is ribbed this is the kind of ribbed that I love it's super super thick double lined it's a red one shoulder at the top and then the bottom is navy it's got like a little cutout right there it's kind of confusing but then it has this white like tie along the middle that covers up your stomach you definitely need to wear the tie I think it looks weird without it however I'll show you in the try on what it looks like if you were to take it off I really like this however it took me forever to figure out how to get this on um but super cute not a tan line that i would want but the fit and length of this was great like i said i was on a patriotic kick when i bought some of these um so i grabbed this one my sister told me this is ugly but it's definitely perfect for your fourth of july memorial day events it is half stars on one side half stripes this is just your typical like one piece i would say um a little scoop neck in the front and then a little bit of a lower back this one was pretty full coverage i'll give it that however there was a little too much material on the sides by the armpits it fit me a little weird this one was a little bit loose all around so one pieces can be really tricky because the sizing on them is kind of inconsistent and there's not a lot of reviews on them so i'm trying my best to give you like what i thought like i said i do try to stick with 27 inches in length that's where i tend to struggle the most okay next up i grabbed this one and this was one of my favorite one pieces by far i really really like the color of this one it's like a burnt orange almost reddish it is that one shoulder at the top and then the bottoms are just like you know it looks like a bikini but it's connected by just a little bit on the sides i think this is a really hip like modern way to wear a one piece and it does have a little self tie along the side that's how you keep it on i think one shoulders are really flattering they're super super cute i know this one does expose your stomach so if you want to wear a one piece to cover up more of your stomach i wouldn't necessarily reach for this one but this does come in a bunch of different colors and would look super cute with high-waisted shorts over top this orange one was not my favorite i will admit um i'd probably pass on this one if I were to place this order again I like the color of it I honestly really like orange I know it's not everyone's fave but I think it looks really good with the tan however this one was just a little too long it was kind of like awkwardly bunchy in the crotch on me just because it wasn't necessarily the right length these all have adjustable pads not why do I keep saying adjustable pads removable pads unless I say otherwise it has a little cutout right here that I thought was going to be a little bit higher but it actually does sit like right where your cleavage is one shoulder this is trying to be that ripped material but it's only double lined in the front not the back all right next up i have this yellow one and i really like this one i have a neon swimsuit that's similar to this and i love the style of it it's just that scoop neck in the front the back is a little bit lower this one definitely has some side boob going on um these could like fall off a little bit easier so be careful if you are wearing this one this isn't necessarily an active one piece which i'll talk about in a second um but it's really cute again this would be a great one with high-waisted shorts a lot of you have been asking for like beach outfits slash what to to wear like when you're on the lake the water and honestly i like one pieces because high waist shorts and like a little cardigan pair so easily over top and it kind of gives off that bodysuit vibe this color looked amazing on me this next suit is the perfect example of an active swimsuit. I love to go in the water. I like to play in the water and I feel confident doing it in a bikini. However, there are certain things like kayaking, canoeing, um, jet skiing, 
I don't know, you know, all the other water things that I do think that I would feel better in a one piece in just because I feel like if I'm wearing like a life jacket, you know, I want to be in a one piece. There are certain things where I do prefer a one piece. My sister, um, her boyfriend's family has jet skis. They have a boat and every time she goes boating or something, she typically wears a one piece for like tubing, like all that jazz. And so this is a great one if you're looking for like an active swimsuit because it's just a standard fit to it. It's more on the full coverage side and it's really high cut your boobs are definitely not going to go anywhere in this they're not spilling out at all it's really high along the sides no chance of side boob it does have self tying straps which normally I wouldn't like be a huge fan of however they are a little bit thicker you know double knot it and you should be fine this color was so flattering on this is another swimsuit that I know my sister will be stealing from me I love zippered one pieces this one zips all the way up or you can unzip it all the way to make it a plunging style I like to keep it just like an inch or so zipped down just to show a little bit of cleavage nothing crazy this is again a swimsuit you could be active in because that zipper really isn't going down unless you decide it to um, no adjustable straps on this not a lot of one pieces do have adjustable straps so keep that in mind I was pleasantly surprised a lot of the one pieces I grabbed were on the full coverage side and I didn't plan for that so you know it was a nice added bonus i really like this one it's like a gorgeous bluish purple it's like a periwinkle almost this comes in a bunch of different colors and i don't know it was one of my favorites for sure next up i grabbed this one and this took me forever to figure out how to get on this is almost like a navyish plum kind of a weird color but i really liked it i was pleasantly surprised by it and the straps on this basically it like somehow the straps on the neck like go about the back i don't know i tried to like film a clip of me putting it on so you guys could understand because i know i was confused when i was trying to put it on and then it wraps a bunch around your waist if you are looking for something to slim your waist and to really make you look like a toothpick something that wraps around the waist is going to be it it really sucks you in at your smallest point it's going to elongate the legs big time i love this style it was full coverage it was a little bit longer than some of the other ones like a half inch longer than i would have loved but i really liked this one this swimsuit also has this a lot of one pieces have this it's kind of like looks like that built you know when you wore a cami that had a built-in bra that is what some of these one pieces look like it's got like elastic right here that gives it that built-in kind of feel to it um i don't know it just provides a little bit extra support for you did not like this one on me something about it just felt weird on me i don't know it was too long too so that was part of it this was i love the color though the light purple was really flattering on it's got ribbed material and it's got like this crazy little cutout crisscross i don't even know what you call this on the side and i just found that it cut a little too close to my cooch for my liking i was like ah, i don't know if i like that but yeah cool concept just didn't look good on me at least i thought all right remember when i was literally just talking about things that wrap around your waist this swimsuit is the perfect example of it i have this swimsuit in a few different colors i have it in white i have it in black leopard red i love this swimsuit it is very impractical if you want to actually swim in it's also impractical if you want to tan in so you're probably thinking mackenzie what is it practical for then it's a great piece to style more as like that bodysuit great for a music festival and if you are like um, doing like a bridesmaids kind of thing, you know, like a bachelorette, these would be great for that too. I love this. It's a really sexy suit. It really complements your chest because it is plunging. You can kind of decide how far apart you want them to be. And then again, it wraps around the waist, really slimming you. And this one, I really liked the bottom. Sometimes the bottom part is a little too big. This does have an open back. You'll see in a sec. Um... Usually the bottoms can be a little bit big. However, this was more of the hipster style, really held you in, and this was full coverage as well. So 10 out of 10 all around, and I think the cotton candy-ish colors were really pretty. One of my friends had this and I really loved the way it looked on her so I decided to go ahead and grab it. This is again one of those one shoulder styles that is then met with bikini bottoms. Again, this is like a really just fun way to wear a swimsuit. Great if you are like in your 20s, you know. I don't know something about me at like 24 it just feels like i would wear something this cute and then this one has like a gold ring on the side and that's what hooks these two pieces together I had to grab a cow print one piece yeah 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 i just love me some cow print so i grabbed this one this is definitely a larger scale cow print so it's a little like whoa but i don't know i'm just gonna have a moment in this you know what's that country music festival that's outside 
I don't know what it's called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. If I ever went to that, I would probably wear this um, with like boots and a hat and be like, here, here I am. Um, this is that same style as that like cotton candy-ish one I just showed you, literally the same thing. Um, you know, just that plunging style, wraps around the waist, more of that full coverage fit in the back. Um, when I say, you know, like it's more of that full coverage fit, j like assume that there's gonna be a little baby bit of your butt cheek hanging out, like don't come for me guys. Okay, let me talk to you about the bikini belt. The bikini belt is my thing, guys. I love belted swimwear, and especially in one pieces. I think it is the cutest thing. It's so flattering. My sister's like, and I'm like, love it. Um, I know it's not everyone's style, but it's mine. So this one it could totally pass as a bodysuit. Like, I'm tempted to bring this to college and wear this out one night, because honestly, like, you would not be able to tell this is a one-piece swimsuit. Um, but this one's super cute. This does have, like, little cups in it, built-in cups. So again, and if you have a larger chest need something a little more supportive reach for something like that you won't be disappointed these straps have a little gold accent right there that i don't know i think it's something something kind of fun it's got adjustable straps and then it's more of a full coverage fit a little bit higher cut a little on the cheekier side but then there's this belt and the belt just really got it adds some pizzazz it brings this look together i love this like look at that I don't know I think these are great you know some people come to me and are like I just had a baby and I want to find a one piece that I feel good in go for a print because it's going to be so much going on that no one's really looking at if you have um if you're carrying extra weight there I would recommend going for a print and then a belt because a belted bathing suit is really going to hug you at a different point and give the illusion that you're curvier than you are I also grabbed this one now this one's a little younger like in style um, because it does have more of like that plunging fit this is the perfect amount of plunging though those other like wrap around the waist plunging ones you really can't tan in or swim in like I said but this one you could totally still swim in it's got it's not as much side boob at all by any means removable pads it's like the perfect amount of V um, you still have cleavage you know it's still really flattering the back looks like this it is more on the full coverage side. You know, I did pretty good on the full coverage. There were some things that still were a little cheekier, didn't necessarily pass the vibe, but for the most part, guys, I think I did pretty good on the on that aspect. I tried really hard, and like I said, this is Shein's definition of full coverage, not necessarily ours. So this one has a belt too. What I like about this one is it's like the same exact um, print as the swimsuit itself, so it's not super noticeable. You can take all of these belts off, by the way. However, there still will be belt loops there, so it will look kind of silly if you do. Now this swimsuit right here, guys, this is the suit. This one is elite. Like I have this in blue, and I loved it so much I had to grab it in another Another color I'm wearing a small in this I would say if you're in between sizes go up in this one just because it does run a little bit smaller it's like not a ribbed material but you can kind of see it's a little thicker it's like triple lined great quality on this one and it's got really big cups to it so like I said if you need a little extra support for your girls this is it but look at the amount of push-up in that this thing will push those babies right up they're not looking bad here um, and then they have adjustable straps and this one's got a big old belt like this is my kind of belt I'm definitely wearing this as a bodysuit next week on the blog so if you see me if you watch this and then you see that you know my secret don't tell um, but anyways love this great for concerts great for music festivals all that jazz or you know for the beach too it's fun for that I really really like this one this one's definitely on the cheekier side it's not full coverage so just so you know all right guys that's going to be all for part four of my Shein bikini series if you guys want to see a part five I'm not planning on doing one but if you really want to see one I will consider doing another one it's a lot of swimsuits on my part but if you guys want to see one let me know and let me know what styles you would want to see next. I really hope this did give you some suits that are gonna work for you, more family friendly, you can wear around your boyfriend, their family, not feel super crazy or exposed. I hope that this worked for you. If you want some more cheekier suits, um, high-waisted, one piece, all that jazz, like all the variety, I will leave part one, two, and three below. There are definitely some full coverage styles in those two, but like nothing's a dedicated video to just that the way this one is. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you want to get 15% off your entire Shein purchase, you can use my code Q4McKenz15. I'll leave it here on the screen and down below along with links to everything. So go check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Hopefully, if you're not subscribed go subscribe to the road to 20k baby deuces guys